Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here, and today we're going to be participating in the second beta test for Dead by Daylight Mobile. And you can join me whether you're on an Apple or an Android device. You can click the link in the first pinned comment or in the description, or just scan the QR code that I have here on screen to jump in and join me on this beta test between now and November the 22nd. So if you don't know, Dead by Daylight's been working extremely hard on this new and improved version of Dead by Daylight Mobile. And today we're gonna show off some of the features that they have here, including the improved graphics and smoother controls. But as always, it's gonna be what you expect from Dead by Daylight, the king of the hill and the 4v1 asymmetrical horror genre with all of your favorite licensed and original characters. Looks like in the beta test, we can only play the original characters, but once this rolls out for everyone um, out of early access, you're gonna see those familiar characters that we all come to expect in Dead by Daylight, like Michael Myers, Leatherface, Ghostface, Freddy Krueger, etc. So let's get into it, and I'll show you some of the new features that they have here on Dead by Daylight Mobile. Okay, so what to talk about first. There's so much to talk about in this new version of Dead by Daylight Mobile. If I click my Dwight picture on the top right hand corner here, it shows us that we're currently in a season and we're trying to work our way up through the ranks by the end of the season so that we can get some rewards here. If we click this box just to the right of my camera here, this frame, this shows us what the season awards will be. And depending on where we end up at rank at the end of the season, these are the awards that we're going to get. If we can make it to rank one, we'll get 200,000 blood points, 1,000 iridescent shards. Same thing for killer. You can work both sides of this game to work up through the ranks. One cool thing about this, um, the, the season information here is you can click on match records and you can go back and see how you did. So for example, this match where I played uh, killer on the cold tower we had three sacrifices it shows you exactly what everybody was running and what the scores were which is pretty interesting information to go back and see uh, you know how things turn out if you can't remember what happened in a match or you wanted to check and you forgot you can go back and look here's my game where all four of us survived against the plague on the disturbed ward that's a pretty neat feature here i would say for the match records so how are you gonna move up in the ranks? Well, we have three different modes here. You have ranked match, quick match, or custom game. Custom game, you can play either with your friends or against bots if you just wanna like practice, which is pretty cool that they have that feature here. Um, and if you are gonna do a ranked match so you can move up in the ranks, then you can compete for the leaderboard down here on the bottom left, this little bar graph thing. This just shows you the leaderboards. So we have somebody here who this, this Chao LeMay is already rank one. They're at the top of the leaderboards. I'm unranked, I'm all the way here at the bottom. So they have ranks for killer and survivor. If we click information here, it says ranking basis is rank, rank progress, emblem score, and the time taken to get to the current rank. Emblem points earned at the current rank. Higher tier emblems give you a better score. You must take part in rank matches to enter the rank leaderboard. So if you wanna compete on the leaderboard and go against other people to see how fast you can go up to the rankings, you have to play rank matches. So they have it for killer and for survivor. Ricardo here is top of the survivor rankings. And then they have this other thing here, we click it where it's called a charisma ranking. Let me see, charisma ranking. And it says charisma, is calculated using cosmetics gained and rare cosmetics give better score, which I thought that was pretty interesting. Mobile also has their own rift. You can see here I'm a tier two on the rift, and if I can get all the way to 80, I can earn this Night Whistler exclusive outfit for the raid. You'll also notice in the rift they have this brand new in-game currency called the Sinister Stones that you can earn through the rift here, or you can also earn them in this ritual section for the daily and weeklies, you can get Sinister Stones here. Let me show you something cool you can do with these Sinister Stones. So what I've been doing with my Sinister Stones is I've been going into this section here at the top left called the Entity's Treasure. And this gives you a chance to get some cosmetics. Right now we're looking at the Forerunner collection, which is Polyphemus. This is kind of like a Greek Legends outfit for the Trapper. And they also have, let's see, actually if we click rewards, I think we can see everything here. So we have the nightclub star David King outfit. These are outfits that are exclusive to mobile. So we can try and get some of these with our Sinister Stones. We have these cards 
Let's try our chances here. Okay, so we're gonna try and flip at least one card here. If we hit on the information, it tells us the odds of getting the gold David King nightclub star or the Trapper Polyphemus, 1.5%. Silvers are 2.5% and, and then the greens make up the common cards here. But we're gonna go ahead and flip one. This is a really cool effect, I actually love this. So let's try one here. Give me this card, what do we got? Okay, so we got Reckoning for the Spirit. Can we get another one? That cost me four. I don't know if I have enough to get another one. Let me see. Strictly business. Oh, I'm out. That's all I can get. All right. Do I have enough to do it again? All right, I'm gonna lock the Gold David King. Lock the Gold David King here and let's do a flip. Give it a good shuffle there, Entity. This is so funny. All right, middle again. Give me that one. Loner's vest. Oh, I'm out. I'm broke. Well, no David King for me. The good news is that before I started recording, I spent some Sinister Stones, and I already got the Polyphemus outfit on one of my card flips. Let's go ahead and try it on. There's three different levels of these exclusive outfits here. So we have the silver, and then there's the gold. There's also a platinum, but to get the platinum, you have to upgrade this with the arrow all the way on the right-hand side, and it says you have to spend 2,500 entity coins to unlock this outfit. I only have 15, so it's gonna be a while, but once you have this platinum outfit, that gives you access to those special exclusive Moris, which for the trapper, the Mori is amazing. He actually takes the trap and puts it on the survivor's head for his finishing move. So it's very cool. So, but you know, it's gonna be a grind for me to get 2,500 entity points, it looks like. So much to talk about in this new version of Dead by Daylight Mobile, but you probably tuned in because you wanna see what I've talked about here, the improved graphics and controls. So let's go ahead and ready up for a game here. All right, so here we are in the lobby. One of the cool things that I like here is this all status in the middle. And you can click this and it'll show you what everybody on your team is running. So you know if they have Deliverance, for example, Decisive Strike, all those things. Pretty in cool information to see what the other people on your team are doing. Okay, here we go. I do want to say I am on my phone here. I have it on medium graphics. I'm casting it to the PC for recording purposes. So there may be some loss of quality. Remember, you can uh, tune the graphics up two steps beyond what I'm using here now. I'm gonna have to look at my phone. I can't look at my PC because there's a delay between my phone and PC, so I can't concentrate on the, the PC screen to play. All right, here is a generator. Let's get going. I'm coming, Bill. Prepare. I'm gonna watch for these skill checks. I noticed the skill checks are a little bit slower than what they had been on the previous version of mobile. I don't know if that's because I'm a beginner. Bill, come on, Bill, come on, Bill. You gotta hit these skill checks. They're not that difficult, bro. It seemed like the skill checks were much harder to hit for me in the past. Bill, Bill, bro, what you doing? No, Bill, I'm gonna suffer for your mistakes, Bill. Why can't you just hit the skill check, buddy? Follow me be following me it's a clown all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i have no heartbeat here i'm gonna go ahead and heal behind the hill oh i locked in my running healing myself up behind the hill bill thanks for nothing buddy all right go see if we can find a friend to do another generator with that was uh oh okay we got bond on we're we going up in here I'll come do that one with you. I'm gonna do the one in the top of the uh, asylum here. Up we go. I'm here, friend. Wait a minute. Are you the same Bill? Are you the same Bill? Bill, you the blow. You the Bill that was blowing stuff up before, buddy? Huh? Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta get out of this place. Let's go. T 
chasing me behind now. Chasing me. I don't think he's chasing me. Am I wrong? No, he's not chasing me. He's not chasing little old me. All right. Go find a generator that Bill's not on. Try to repair a generator by ourselves here. Everything is so much more smooth. I'm not very good with the controls still. I played, you know, some practice games. I haven't actually played mobile in, in a year. So, uh, I'm pretty rusty. But I, I can see right now that the graphics and the controls are so much more smooth and responsive to versions I've played in the past. So it's just uh, a very enjoyable experience. And these skill checks, I don't know if they're gonna stay that slow. I, I'm, I'm down. I like the, the slow skill checks. It could be they're going easy on me because I'm, you know, ranked 20. But if they stay at that speed, I'm all for it. I see a lot of people still can't hit it at that speed. I don't know why, but they fat fingered it, I guess. All right, so up at the top here, it says we got... Oh, never mind. I, I take back everything I said about the people who can't hit these skill checks. All right, it says we need three generators. We have three generators that are not repaired here. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna get this one. I don't have any heartbeat on me. Looks like this is gonna be very uh, easy to lock in this gen. Hopefully my teammates are out there doing some too. Alright. We go back to the one in the building. I think that one. Oh. We can get this one? Is this generator hot? Can we do it? Oh yeah, look at this. The gang's all here. We're all doing this, Jen. Easy peasy. Save me a spot. Save a spot for me. Bill, don't blow up the generator, okay, buddy? Nia! Yeah. You gotta have the heart and commitment to win, friends! You gotta have the heart and commitment to the game to win! Stay on the gen! Heart and commitment to the game! Oh, look at that. Look at that bunch of scaredy cats. I got it done. I got the job done. Let's go. One more. Find another generator. One more generator. Is this one done already? I think that one's done already. I need another generator. Is this one done already too? Oh, well, okay. We're going to the gate. Our friends had the heart and commitment to the game. They got the last gen done. Let's go. Going to the gate. This gate. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, those are my emotes. The killer is near me. Oh, it's sent a little message. All right, I'm leaving. You save gang, and game collapses on. Time to go. Yes, even you, Bill. Even you can come with me, Bill. Okay, wait. Did I do this? I do. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. We say, go out of the gate. All right, those are my emotes. Cool. All right, we're leaving. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right. Well, I leveled up Dwight to level seven with that game. I hope you had fun watching me give you a tour of Dead by Daylight, the brand new version here on mobile. And remember, you can join me. Uh, by clicking on the link in the description or the first pinned comment or scanning that QR code to get Dead by Daylight Mobile on your own Apple or Android device between now and November 22nd and watch for the full release to come out in the future. But that's all I have for you today. Very cool, very impressed with the new and improved Dead by Daylight Mobile. I think you will be too. As always, I appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.